Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, there is a reality that we all live with, that in this talking world, in this verbal world, uh, sometimes the absolute best thing we can do, the smartest thing we can do, the most profound thing we can do is shut up. Is just not talk. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about, about words of blessing, words that nourish others, and that's good. We need to learn to nourish with our words. But sometimes just the discipline of saying nothing is the best thing you can do. There's a great quote that's been attributed to lots of different people. This is a quote that's been attributed by people to Hemingway, to Mark Twain, to Abraham Lincoln, but actually none of them said it. It's kind of an obscure author where the, where the person who researched this first found this line, but here's the line. It's better to be silent and be thought a fool than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. It's better to be quiet and have people wonder, oh, is that person a fool, than to actually start talking and make it clear to everyone in the world that you actually are a fool. I'm not sure exactly how accurate that is, but I do know that in God's Word, there's a challenge that there's moments and times that the best thing we can do is have our mouth be like a vault locked shut. Listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 11, verses 12 and 13. Whoever derides their neighbor has no sense. But the one who has understanding holds their tongue. A gossip betrays a confidence, but a trustworthy person keeps a secret. Hold your tongue. Keep a secret. Technical term, shut your pie hole. Stop talking. There's great wisdom in silence. And so here's a few thoughts. And these are just some things to think about in your own life. And maybe God has a little word for you and a little encouragement as you go through your day, as you go through your week. Here's a few thoughts. Learn to say less all the time. Make a decision that just say, in every situation, when I've said what I have to say, I can be done. Sometimes there's people who just can't end the sentence. They can't, there's comma, 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 comma. It keeps on going. But sometimes just, just say less. When you've said what you need to say, conclude. And if you don't know how to conclude, here's the best way. Just stop talking. <laughs> just when you've made the point, wrap it up. Be done. Here's another thing. Listen a lot more and ask good questions. One of our leaders here at Shoreline Church, Pastor Dennis, he's got, he, he leads our council and our care ministry. And he talks about how when you're having a conversation with somebody and when they're talking about something, in your mind, always have two or three more questions to go deeper. Keep asking questions. Oftentimes, for many people, we're not thinking about the next question. We're thinking about, when is, when's it my turn to say something? And we're hardly listening to them because we can't wait to jump in and say, well, but you know what about me or you know about what I experienced? But Dennis, as a counselor, says one of the best things you can do as you're listening is be thinking, what's another question that we can go deeper? And another question. And after two or three questions, you'll discover that they're talking more and you're talking less. And there's wisdom in that. Another thought. There's moments where your mouth should be like a locked vault with a combination that sometimes you don't even know, that you can't even remember. Lock it up. Especially when somebody shares something with you that's private, that's personal. You should be absolutely confidential. Your mouth should be like a vault, locked tight and shut. People should know that when they share something with you personal, it stays with you. And can I give you a little pastoral wisdom? If you only share it with one person, I'll just tell my spouse. And if they only share it with one person, and that person is so discreet, they only share with one person. In a short time, everyone knows. So there's times when you hear something that it's for nobody at all. It's not for your closest friend. It's not for your spouse. It's not for, for this confidant. It is for you and you alone and lock it shut. And then finally, avoid the temptation of negative talk, grumbling, complaining. The Bible has a lot to say about those. Proverbs has a lot to say. That's a different devotional. But ask yourself, is this grumbling? Is this complaining? Is this negative talk? I'm going to shut that down too. Sometimes the best thing you can do is just close your mouth and keep it closed. So I want to pray and then I'm going to close my mouth. Here we go. Lord Jesus, thank you that you've given us the ability to speak, that we can bless, that we can encourage. But God also teaches the wisdom of silence. Teaches those moments when it's best to just stop talking. And show us those moments when we should become that vault where we don't talk about certain things because they've been shared in confidence. Lord Jesus, thank you for the power of words. We pray that we will bless and encourage and be silent when we, when we should and when we must. We pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen.
Have a great day.